are just now waking up so ignore how scrambled this intro might be it is 9 what 9 30 and in about 20 minutes i am going to be doing something really exciting and i'm actually really excited for this because i don't know if you guys have known this i've talked about it before on like my instagram and stuff like that i've been struggling with acne ever since i honestly moved down here but when i moved down here i was trying i was going through all these different types of facial washes trying to figure out what worked best for my face and i ended up going with proactive and proactive literally cleared up my skin my skin was baby clear like a baby's bottom clear <laughs> And so I was so excited. And so I accidentally was like, oh, let me try a new facial product. Let me just try it. I won't break out. I broke out really bad. And it has left me with a lot of scarring on my chin because my chin was the location where I broke out the most. And the scarring, I've been trying to get it away for like the last like two months, but it's just not going away. These are pimples right here, but it's because I'm also getting my period soon. But today I'm getting a chemical peel, which if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically going to peel off my skin and kind of like resurface it and give it like a fresh start. I don't know if that's the right word. So I'm gonna be looking like a snake for the next couple of days i don't know if it's gonna happen right away if i'm gonna look peely or if it's gonna happen a couple days after i don't know this is my first time doing it but i'm really excited because i feel like everywhere else on my face is really clear besides this and this is scarring i don't know if you guys can really tell but that's all scarring and things that look bad though to me, I feel like it looks bad. I'm very insecure about it and it's been a really big struggle. And I was really mad at myself that I switched to facial products and I didn't just stick with what worked best for me. So I'm gonna have to just get a chemical peel and hope it just takes it all away. It's a weird word. What, chemical peel? Yeah. What, it's not a weird word, it's normal. <laughs> it's a chemical, chemical peel. Chemical peel. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to film while she's doing it. I'm gonna- you, you look like a snake? Yeah, I'm gonna look like a, oh yeah. I'm gonna look like a snake, you guys. That's like what when, it's gonna look like. You when know, snakes shed people, when they shed their yeah, uh, skin. skin. That's what she's gonna look like. That's it's literally look like, like her skin's gonna be like like you just got like a bad sunburn. Yeah. Times ten. It's gonna be flaky. I just hope it doesn't work, ruin my week. Can you peel your skin off? Like, like I'm gonna ask her if I could do that because I want to see because I feel like you could if it doesn't hurt. But. You might have to wait. But I might let it just fall off itself. That's so gross. Yeah. I'm just kind of praying that it doesn't ruin my week, even though I might be yeah, shut I gotta up to go the to gym. Bed. I gotta sleep with you. Yeah, with so. shed. You're gonna have shed marks all on the bed. <laughs> we're, gonna Ew. Have, we're gonna have, yeah, shedding everywhere. <laughs> so I'm gonna be documenting it day by day. So this is gonna be going on for a couple of days, but for you guys, it's gonna be like seconds. So we're gonna go on through this journey and taking away my Am scarring. Going with? You're gonna be a part of the journey. Am I going with you? No. Oh, I'm away here. Yeah, why would you come? I'm just really curious to see how it turns out. Me too, because I never had it works. I never had this done before, but I don't have severe acne, so I feel like with one peel it's gonna come off. So yeah, I guess we'll find out. Yeah. yeah. Oh wish me luck, you guys. I'm all <laughs> nervous and crap. I don't know why I'm all nervous. I think it's just because I don't want to ruin my like gym week. Like what? Well, okay. You got that. That's the least of our worries. I just hope it works. <sighs> I'm gonna go back to bed. Okay, good night. Good night. Let's go. Okay. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you guys, since I am in the sun, um, I just made it to my appointment. I go in in like five minutes. I'm like nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. I like, kind of wanted to show my chin a little bit better with like the actual sunlight. So this is my chin. This is the worst my face ever been. Like I have never struggled with acne, honestly, until I moved out to Florida. This is what it looks like. I'm really excited just to get this taken away and away like off my face. Like I just hope everything goes out smoothly. I only have to do it at least one time. And then I'm back to where I was when I started proactive when I moved out here and get my face back to where it was because I'm struggling trying to get rid of the scarring. So let's go. I'm going to try to film as much as I can. So just stay tuned for that. If not, you guys still see the process. I'll tell you how it went. I'll tell you my experience. I'll say, I'll tell you everything. So make sure you're watching all the way through and let's go through this journey together. Good morning, you guys. So it has been 48 hours after I got my chemical peel. And usually you have to wait 40 hours before you wash your face. And I woke up this morning looking like this. That's crazy. Like, oh my god, look at that. Like, Ew. I am peeling. I haven't even washed my face yet, so I haven't even, like, really got off the surface. Like, I probably have a lot of eye. It looks like I have a lot of eye boogers, but it's all, like, peeling. So, I think I'm gonna peel more here because it kind of feels, like, tight and up here for sure. So, once I wash my face, I will show you guys. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the scarring and everything's already looking so much better. I don't know why this part isn't. They look more faded. Like, oh yeah, it's just gonna peel right off. Like, it's already fading, and once this all peels, 
off that layer of like skin, it's gonna take it all off, which is so crazy to me because that's exactly what I wanted. It just gets me so excited it to see fake. the end result. It's so bad, it looks fake. I know, it does look fake. It's like a sunburn times 10. Like, oh my gosh. Is it and I, or not? Just tired. No. It's honestly loosening. <laughs> the more I like smile, it's loosening up. When I went to bed last night, it was not nearly like this. If it's gonna get worse, that's crazy because this already looks like bad, bad. Yeah, I gotta go to the Jesus. gym tomorrow too. We'll, we'll see. It probably, honestly, when I wash my face, it'll honestly probably start flaking off. I gotta wash it with cold water and I gotta like gently rub. So I will show you guys immediately right after. And I can honestly feel right here when I wash my face, it's gonna peel because all right here is so so dry. So here's before I washed my face. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I wanted to film off my phone really quick before I got in the shower. It literally got worse from when I first talked to you guys. So, like, look at how much it's peeling. That's crazy. I cannot wait to wash my face and see where it's at after. Yeah, that's wild. Okay, you guys, so I just got out of the shower and I just got done washing my face. And this is what it looks like. It peeled a lot and it still is peeling, but the outcome is already coming out so good. Obviously, there's still stuff right here, but we're gonna see how it looks after the next couple of days. But I'm already really excited and really happy with the results and how much it actually took away And I just cannot wait to see the end result. I might have to keep going for more chemical peels every month But honestly, I am so happy with the results so far. So ah. Day three we just got done eating breakfast and I looked at Mariah's face and I'm like, oh my gosh Your face is so dry. Is it? But let me just say it doesn't look as peeled as yesterday even no. though it might peel more later but right now what do you think is it like oh clearing God. up a lot your acne is definitely faded it's definitely yeah. not as vibrant but look at it. it it goes all the way up to your nose i know it's like i'm peeling really bad but i'm really excited because i might have to go for like another round but like if you guys saw you guys saw that before like it was worse than this like so much more pigmented yeah, and like it's definitely more faded though. It, yeah like, it you is. can barely tell on camera right now like all the acne that was there is now like it's it's like a different it's shade like subtle like it's it's not like, as red. Yeah, it's like more pink. Yeah, it's like it took off the top layer and like yeah. left it with a little like haze. It's still gonna peel. I gotta make sure I, you know, put a lot of moisturizer on it. But yeah, I'm really excited for this journey and I'm I'm really hoping that like the first round really does I mean it already has done a lot of justice. I'm just we'll waiting. See. I'm waiting for we got, we got days left. We I got know. days left to see it'll I just think it develop says, like, more and more. Seven days usually you kind of see your results, so yeah. Okay, you guys, so it's been about a week since I've given you guys a full, uh, well, no, not a week. This is a week since I've gotten my chemical peel done. As you guys can see, I'm at Jules and Saw's house still, and I'm filming this off my phone. So I'm gonna give you guys a skin update. Ignore this pimple right here. It's literally because I got my period a couple days ago, so it's a hormonal pimple. But this is my skin right now. You guys, you can't even really tell on video, but it helped my skin so much. And the more you go, like, I'm sure we're gonna keep like getting it toned down and getting it even better than it is. But if you guys saw it in person, it went down so much. Like my before, it's crazy to see it because you're like, wow, like you don't think it did anything, but then you look back and you're like, wow, it really did. So if you guys are like looking to get a chemical peel, a facial, it is so worth it because it literally helped my skin so much. And I'm so thankful that I ended up going ahead and getting it done and trying it out. Cause it also makes your skin feel so soft. Like my, right now for the peeling, it is so soft. It made my makeup go on so good. Good. Like it gives you like a fresh new skin and it's a 10 out of 10 I am so excited to keep like getting this down and I feel like that this video is making it a little bit more prominent But I promise it's not like it is like it like took away so much of the scarring So yeah, my chemical appeal experience was awesome I'm very 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 blessed and happy with how it went me and Julia actually just got done with the couples massage Oh my gosh, you guys that was my first massage. That was insane. Like wow. That's all I gotta say Wow, <laughs> but guys I just wanted to make a video like this because I really wanted to connect with you guys and you know If you do struggle with acne and you know you you have you know issues with your skin Just know like it is totally normal and it is okay And you know, I know sometimes it feels like it's hard to be confident when your skin is going through a crisis like that I'm gonna say it's a crisis But like, you know if it does like affect you in a negative way Just know you are beautiful and it's life. It's a part of life It's part of growing up and you know, we got so much hormones and imbalances sometimes and it just it just happens 
happen. So I just wanted to show you guys that it's okay to have imperfections and it's okay to, you know, get acne sometimes and get a little pimples and it's normal and it's okay. And I just wanted to connect with you guys more and kind of just bring you guys along the journey of my chemical peel. But I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you guys in the next one. But until then, peace, love you guys.